Hey everybody and welcome back. So today, I'm gonna let you in on a little parenting secret. I am all about amber teething necklaces and I'm gonna share with you my experiences with it, how we use amber in our everyday life at this point. I am the mother of a one-year-old little girl and she has been teething since probably about three months. I don't think we saw a tooth until about six months. Let's be honest, every tooth that's come through has been a bit traumatic for both parent and child. And those symptoms for my daughter would be fever, the flushed red cheeks, lots of drool, just a general sense of uneasiness, crying, limited sleep for both parent and child, around the clock, 24 seven breastfeeding. We tried a few different methods to try and ease some of her discomfort. The frozen teething ring that she could chew on, daddy's fingers, tried ibuprofen, that worked okay. Apart from lots of baby wearing and just constant breastfeeding, we didn't really have much luck. We did try one homeopathic remedy, which was camellia drops, and I do like those. I must say that my most favorite teething solution has been the amber teething necklace. So this is what an amber teething necklace looks like. A lot of people think that you actually chew on the necklace like to, to relieve the pain of teething, but you don't. You simply wear it around your neck. So you're probably wondering how a piece of jewelry can possibly help with teething. Amber is found in nature. It is a resin and it contains succinic acid. To keep it short and simple, basically what happens is as you wear the amber, it will heat up as a result of your body temperature and allow your body to absorb the acid through the skin. And you're probably wondering why on earth would I want my body to absorb this random acid? It's okay, it's a good thing. How you wanna think of it is as a natural ibuprofen. And so if you wear it close to the area of pain, you will feel its benefits. I had heard about amber necklaces as most moms do. If you're ever perusing the internet or reading any type of mom forum, it's gonna come up at some point. So at first I was a little bit skeptical and wondering why would I wanna place a necklace around my child's neck? Like that's probably a little bit dangerous. Small beads, isn't that a choking hazard? Like all of these concerns start to come to mind. All these individual beads actually had, there's a knot in between each bead. Should your child pull it off, there isn't that risk of all the beads coming off and it becoming a choking hazard. Easy for you, difficult for the baby to put on and off. I also think that they're really cute. So you gotta wear it on the skin 24 seven, which for some parents might not be an option. For us, it has worked simply because Esme and I co-sleep and she essentially is not in the bed without me. A couple of things that I found really neat is that when we actually did put it on, I was under the impression that she would start pulling at this necklace, trying to get it off or chewing on it. She doesn't even know it's there. I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that this is a foolproof method, that you're never gonna see fevers and you're never gonna see discomfort in your child from teething, but I will say that since I purchased that first necklace, we have continued to use it straight. I feel like I am seeing benefits from it and I am experiencing far less those traumatic teething symptoms. I think it's awesome, that's all I'm gonna say about it. A Couple of things you wanna know for best practices is you don't wanna get them wet, so you preferably will take them off before bath to reap the most rewards from the amber itself. You do wanna wear it on the skin 24 seven. If the necklace is a bit long, you wanna put it underneath the clothing so that it is touching the skin. I was pretty impressed with the product, so much so that I actually contacted the company, Hazelade, and I asked them if they would mind if I did a review of their product. They were very obliging and allowed me to do this one. I thought it was just one of these things that a lot of parents talk about, but not necessarily tell other parents about, or maybe they feel like it's silly because it's sort of like this hippy dippy kind of solution. I'm actually wearing an amber necklace myself right now. I get canker sores and if you've ever experienced them, I get them really bad, causing me to talk funny and not being able to eat and things. And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe this will help. So I bought one for myself. And now that I've worn one for myself, what I will tell you is they are ridiculously lightweight. I was actually really surprised when I put it on how lightweight it is, which of course, as I was saying before, when I put it on Esme, she barely noticed it was there. Suitable for boys and girls. I mean, this isn't pink, nor is it blue kind of thing, if you're worried about gender association with colors or whatever. If you haven't tried one yet, but you're interested, Hazel Aid has actually provided me with a discount code, and I'll include it here. If you've had an experience with amber necklaces, whether it be good or bad, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.